Shalom, most high Christ bless. You're watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, I'm Officer Bezalel. Uh, today's topic is called, It Ends with ICBM. We're going to show you the purpose of why nuclear weapon was created. So even though in the world you see right now they're trying to do away with nuclear weapon, they have all kinds of summits and everything, that ain't going to happen. It was created to be used. And according to the scriptures, we're going to show you that. Give me Second Ezra 16, verse 13 to uh, 16. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So the scripture says, strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. These bows are not talking about regular bow and arrows, okay? Over time, we're going to say, like they show you in the movie, they call it what, um, broken arrow? These are talking about nuclear weapon, but we'll see you. We'll show you further down. It says his arrows he shoots it are sharp and shall not miss. That's what you read, right? Correct. They shall not miss. Right now, Russia got uh, nuclear weapons that cannot be stopped. There's no defense system that could that could stop it. That's what the scripture says. These arrows they can't be stopped. Can a man stop a regular arrow? Yeah, you get a shield and buckler. If the arrow sh uh, shoot at you, put, the, put up your shield and it gets stuck on the shield. So that already tell you it's not going to be. Um, and it says, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So it's showing you there's a specific arrow that is prepared for the end time. Read. Verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. And so they come upon the earth. So once those plagues are sent, they ain't gonna, they, there's no coming back. They're gonna go exactly where they are sent to. They're gonna go in the sky and then they're gonna hit the earth. So whatever direction they shoot it, shoot it at is gonna hit. And further on, we're gonna show you in what direction they're gonna be shot. Read. Verse 15. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Wow. What's gonna, what can kindle a fire? that no man can put out to consume everything that it has to consume. Nuclear weapons, ICBM missile, those are the arrows that the Bible is talking about. Read. Verse 16, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. So once those plagues, once that war starts, World War Three, it will happen. Like, um, who, who said it? The, I think um, um, the president of Russia said World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. You understand how heavy that is? Because he's saying to you World War III is going to be fought with what? Nuclear weapon. And after you have a nuclear war, what is left? But we know there won't be a World War IV. You understand? Because we, the Israelites, are going to take over the world at, at crisis return. Because during World War III, crisis is going to return. And we're going to help hunt people down with swords in our hand. So no, it's not going to be with nuclear weapons. With swords. Not stick and stone, but with swords. Um, give me um, Isaiah 9.5. Everything is written in the Bible. This is the book of life. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So the Bible record that every battle that has been fought before, you got horses, you got, down World War II, they still had horses fighting in, in, in that war. Swords, people screaming, people dying because what? Bullets are flying, dogs, everything is, it's, it's just chaotic. If you watch the movie um, um, Gladiator, the, begin, the opening scene show you that doing war. It's chaotic noise, that's what the scriptures say. Every battle was fought with confused noise. But this specific battle is going to be what? But this will be with burning and fuel of fire. So this one, that's, this last one is going to be with fuel burning of fire. It's going to be raining down nuclear missiles all over the earth. And guess what? It's going to feel like you're in a lake of fire. That's what the, the Bible talking about, the lake of fire in, in, in the Bible. Give me Isaiah 54, 16. The Bible covers every topic. It's just that we grew up in churches that never taught us these things. That's why we're here for you. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. 
Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire. So, that. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So, the Most High is telling you that he created the smith. The purpose of a smith is to what, create weapons. Sword, shield, armors, or why not. And he blows the coal and melt the a metal, bang it with a hammer, and that's how you create those weapons. But the most I say, in this day, I have created the smith that I created is gonna create what you call the waster. Because your modern day smith or your scientist today. Men don't fight with swords and knives anymore. Although it is used sometimes, but real war is fought with what? Bullets and guns and bombs and whatnot. And new uh, ICBM missiles. Who created those things? Those modern day Smith. And what would be a better name for an ICBM missile? A waster. Because once it hits, it wastes the land. There's nothing left. You can't even grow crops on the land. That's, that's, it becomes what? A wa nuclear wasteland, right? Can you grow on any, any place where a nuclear weapon has, has been hit? No. That's what the Bible call it what? The waster. Give me 2 Peter 3. 2 Peter 3. The book of 2 Peter. Come on now. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Stop. Moses has tell you what's going to happen when he's returning. Okay? When he's returning, the day of the Lord is going to pass with a great noise. Kaboom! Out of the blue nuclear weapon hit, it makes a great noise. Right? Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What in this earth that can melt elements? That can melt whole buildings away? Nuclear weapon, ICBM missiles with nuclear warhead attached to them. So the Bible is already telling you what's going to be happening on the day that the Lord is returning. Read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. The earth and the works that is therein. The buildings, the cars, the houses. They're going to be burnt up. What, could, what do these things? ICBM missile, like they did on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You have the example there in, in society. Okay, give me Zechariah 14 and 12. The Bible is the true book. It tells you everything from A to Z. That's the only book of prophecy that's been accurate so far. So believe it or not, it's telling you nuclear weapons will be created, and they are created, and they're going to be used at the end of time. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. Now, now remember we read in uh, Ezra, the plagues are sent out. People might be like, oh, you know, that's not talking about nuclear missile. Well, okay, here's the precept that show you what kind of plague is going to happen. Read. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away. So the people that come up against Israel, the real Israelites, most are going to consume them with a plague. And what's going to happen in the plague? They're what? That's going to melt? Their flesh shall consume away uh -huh. while they stand upon their feet. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Which weapon does that? Nuclear weapon. Case in point. Go watch the first Terminator. What was the name? Sarah Connor? When she was by the park, she was sleeping and she had the dream. The nuclear weapon hit and she was holding the fence. All you saw that was left was a skeleton. That's the only weapon that can do what Zachariah is describing right now. That's the plague that the Most High is going to hit this earth with. So if you think for one second countries are going to give up their nuclear weapon or destroy them, you got something else coming for you. Get your mind right and get ready for this war. Because... If you're not right in the scriptures, um, actually, let's go back to Peter's. 2 Peter's 10. This is how you, your mind is supposed to be. We get, uh, read verse 11. The book of 2 Peter's chapter 3, verse 11. 
Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So as you see the scriptures coming out and you see this as reality, all these things are going to happen. What kind of person should you be? You should be in all holiness and holy conversation. You shouldn't be in doing drugs and uh, whoremongering, doing all kind of violence. You should be seeking the Lord to turn back to the Lord because that's the only way you're going to be protected. Give me Psalm 91. Christian, I love to read this song. Uh, you know what? I'm tired of calling Christianity, uh, people that, that follow Christianity Christians. They're not Christians. So those, those, those uh, uh, I would call them the, 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 the uh, Caesarians. Because they follow the conduction of Caesar. You follow? They're not Christian. But they love using, they love that, 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 that song. But they don't even know what the hell it's talking about. Give me Psalm 91, verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So what you got to understand, the secret place of the Most High is this Bible. That's where you find all the secrets of God. So if you abide in this Bible, then you're going to be protected by the Lord. Read. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him will I trust. Read. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So if you trust in God, this word is going to be your shield and buckler. It's going to protect you from all snares, from all, uh, 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 for, uh, for, from all traps. From anything that can happen, you'll be protected because why? You would already know when it's going to happen. You so if you abide in this truth, if you abide, abide in this Bible, you're going to be protected from any trap, any snares that is laid for you. Right? Read. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day. So the Bible is telling you, terror is going to take hold of you at night. And arrows, which is the ICBM missile, is going to be flying during the daytime, and you won't have to worry about that. Read. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that no. nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. So the destruction is going to come at noonday. While it's bright, everybody chilling, lunchtime, you, th you think everything is great, boom, nuclear weapon, ICBM missile flying all over the place. But us, the Israelites, we won't be worried about these things. We'll see why. Read. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So during that time, that's when our deliverer is going to come. Wow, you see 1,000 in your right hand, 10,000 at your left. What weapon can kill 10,000 people at one time? Nuclear weapon. ICBM miss missiles mounted with nuclear warhead. So as these things are happening, we won't be worrying about it because our deliverance is going to come. We'll see. Give me um, second address. 13, 29, 38. The book of second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. So... The day of deliverance is going to happen. When God is going to deliver us, it's going to happen while these people are fighting one another. While the whole world is in turmoil, Mosiah is going to send his son. This is why we won't be worried about nothing. Because while total chaos is happening, we're going to be delivered. Jump up to, um, sorry, not five, sorry. Verse 5. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven. To subdue the man that came of, out of the sea. So the man that came out of the sea is Christ. From among the nations, he's going to come while the whole world is in turmoil. Read. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, 
All they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. So even though they're all going to be scared, as they see this thing descending, guess what? They're going to stop fighting one another and put together to fight Christ. But guess what? It's already too late. Because Christ said, the next time I meet you, I will not meet you as a man. So none of those weapons formed against us will prosper on that day. With that, we're going to say shalom. Most high and Christ bless. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.